Howdy. It is now the year of our Lord, 2024. And I am now 25 years of age. Getting on up there, if I do say so myself. According to Gen Z, even though I am a part of Gen Z, I am uh, considered old. I just wanted to make a video, have a little talk about what my plans are, uh, my intentions for this year for myself and my life and such. So yeah, we're going to do that. I feel super bloated right now. Also, my sweatshirt has lint all over it. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it is covered in white fuzz. Anyway, yeah, my plans for 2024. You know, when I started this channel, I talked about wanting to document my progress toward manifesting the life that I would like to be living. Well, that has not changed. So my vision for myself moving forward into this year is very much still the same. I s still want the same things. One of the big things that I am set the intention to work on was my health, I, in particular my hormones. My health is in a much better place than it was, which I've talked about before, but it has sort of plateaued and, you know, I can function now much better than I used to, but I still have a lot of little issues that I deal with daily. I still generally don't feel that great. And I would very much like to actually feel good every day if I can. So yeah, that is something that I'm going to work on is kind of getting myself past this plateau that I've reached with my health. And I think a big piece um, of the puzzle for helping me do that is working on my hormone health. I have struggled with hormone issues since I've had these health issues in general. I've had my hormones tested before to confirm that, in yes, they were indeed off. Um, if one of your hormones is off, then it's most likely that all of your hormones are at least a little bit off because they all work together. So yeah, working on my health and really looking at old habits that I've been carrying on just because they're comfortable. Like little things, you know? Not anything too big that's like super disruptive to my life, but I have a lot of little behaviors that just aren't working for me anymore, but I do them just because it's what I'm used to doing. I think that the little, those little choices that you make every day and those little daily habits, we don't think about them too much because they're kind of just automatic or, you know, we get so used to doing them that we don't think about the cumulative effect that they have over time and um, how big of a difference they can actually make so yeah, I just want to correct a few little things, make a few little improvements, tweaks, what we're tweaking. Another goal I have is to get smarter with money and finances. I've never really had to be smart with money because like I live with my parents. I, I mean, I've worked since I was, could work, but I've never like had to really have a lot of responsibility with money or my finances or budget or, um, you know, invest or anything like think about the future, like the long term future with money. And I want to start doing that. I want to start thinking about what I can do now that will help me years down the road, because I really just feel like I don't know that much about money, like financial stuff kind of confuses me. I don't really know about, like, I don't understand money and finances. <laughs> that reminds me of that bit in It's Always Sunny when 
Dennis is like, I don't understand how the U.S. economy works. I don't even understand how finances work. That's how I feel. Like, I just don't. It's not something that I naturally, like, get or understand very easily. So I'd like to educate myself. Shit. It's my crystal. I like to educate myself and feel like I've got things under control and, and like, I know what I'm doing with my money and my resources. Another big thing is in the past five years of my life, I've really kind of been in hermit mode because I've dealt with a lot of things physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. It's been a very internal, introspective period of my life. I think I needed this time to go within and to process some things and to understand some things about myself and about life. I think now I'm really, and for, and for a while, I've really been feeling a, a desire to reconnect with people and to reconnect with the world and kind of come out of my shell a little bit and it's also been really scary to deal with that. It's like, I want it, but it terrifies me. And I just, I, I have a lot of fear around, you know, going back out into life and connecting with people again and connecting with life again and, and doing things in the real world like everyone else does. It's just, I don't know, Some sometimes I feel so fragile and like if I put myself out there or <laughs> connect with, you know, friends or a, a person or, or whatever, that I'll just, uh, I don't know, fall apart. <laughs> it takes vulnerability. I think that's the hardest part for me. To let things back in, to let people back in, to let life back in. It feels dangerous almost, and a lot of times it feels like a threat to my safety and my well-being. And I don't exactly know why that is. I mean, I have some idea. I don't fully understand, which is okay. But I know that I can't stay a, a hermit forever <laughs> and um, stay in my cave forever. So I'm going to work on my ability to connect with the outside world again. And lastly, I would just say that this year I really feel it a need to take my desires more seriously and to take the things that I want more seriously and, and my dreams and my vision for the future. Because I think for a long time now I've seen what I want and I've, I know what I want or I've known what I want, but there was a large part of me that didn't think that it was possible or didn't think that I deserved it. Or that um, I was, you know, capable of having it or keeping it. And I've been working on that and I think that I just haven't been taking myself and the things that I want as seriously as I should be. I think it's time that I really start to take action on the things that I want and stop, you know, waiting for them to just come around or someone else to bring them to me or give them to me. It's time for me to actually go out and, and seek these things and take the practical, tangible steps to get there. You know, I've, I've realized our desires and the things we want, they're, they're important. They're important because, well, because we want them and, and that's enough reason for them to be important, but they're important because we are important. And because of our limited perspective as humans, <laughs> we don't know how, you know, having the things that we want might cause ripple effects and how having our needs and our wants met and getting the things that we desire, how that can be of service to others and to the world at large. Those are my goals for 2024. 
Uh, I hope this wasn't too boring for you if you're watching. This was mostly for me, my future self, so I can come back in a year and look at this and be like, oh yeah, I did all of those things. But yeah, that's it. If you did watch, thank you. Uh, and I would love to know what your intentions that you have set for the year, if there's just anything that you think is gonna happen for you or that you wanna work on or whatever. Um, you can leave that in the comments. I would love to read it. Um, yeah, I'll be back to making videos regularly. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.